The first mock-up of AMD's next-generation Zen 4-powered Raphael Ryzen desktop CPUs has been posted by Executable Fix. The picture comes as a follow-up to his original tweet in which he leaked information regarding the AM5 platform and the respective LGA 1718 socket. One of the biggest changes mentioned on the AM5 platform is that switch from the PGA socket to an LGA socket. The AM5 platform will feature the LGA 1718 socket and, as the name suggests, it will comprise of 1,718 pins that will make contact with the CPU. That's actually 18 more pins than Intel's LGA 1700 socket, which will support the next generation Alder Lake CPUs. But really, pin count doesn't equal performance necessarily, so we'll see. That would mean that we won't see any more Ryzen desktop chips with pins beneath them, but instead we would see gold contact pads similar to those underneath Intel's desktop CPUs that they've been using for quite some time. Now in the mock-up, you can clearly see that the Zen 4-based Raphael desktop CPUs will retain a square package, but feature a smaller size compared to Intel Alder Lake S desktop CPUs, which are going to feature a larger package size. However, AMD will be packing more contact pads within a smaller area since the majority of Intel's package space is taken up by capacitors and other VRM regulating chips. The leaker didn't just stop there and has also mentioned a few more details on the Zen 4 powered Raphael lineup of Ryzen desktop CPUs. It is stated that the next generation Zen 4 chips will be fully DDR5 compliant and won't retain DDR4 support anymore. Intel, on the other hand, will be offering both DDR5 as a premium and DDR4 as the budget memory support on its 600 series platforms. There's also going to be 28 PCIe Gen 4.0 lanes. That's up 4 compared to Zen 3, and while not having PCIe Gen 5 definitely sounds like a, well, you know, kind of a bummer, we should remember that the PCIe Gen 4 interface is far from being saturated at the moment. Now, AMD did update its AM4 platform to PCIe Gen 4.0 earlier than Intel, and we don't expect any GPU series to saturate Gen 4 protocols soon. However, next generation PCIe 5 SSDs could become a serious marketing tool for Intel on its Alder Lake platform. But by that time, pretty sure that AMD will have their own PCIe Gen 5 platform out. Now moving on, the leaker also states that the AMD Raphael Zen 4 Ryzen desktop CPUs will feature that standard TDP of up to 120 watts, but they would be configurable upwards to 170. Now we don't know if that's going to be the upper limit like PL2 on Intel chips, but we can expect some serious clocks and OC potential if this is true. Furthermore, we have to state that the smaller package size does make it seem like we may or may not get a core count bump. While AMD has stated that the core count bump is very likely on the mainstream platform, the smaller package size leaves little room to include any more chiplets. For sure, 5 nanometers will reduce the size of the chiplets, while a 7 nanometer IO die will eventually be much smaller than that of the 12 nanometer IO die featured on the Zen 3 chips at the moment, but let's wait and see what AMD has cooked up for its next generation desktop CPU release. And I want to thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you like what you've seen here and you like getting news daily, make sure you hit that subscribe button down there in the corner. And if you've missed out on news in the past and you want to catch those, check out one of these videos over here.